Today we are going to learn to do very simple bubble letters. I also have a video showing how to do easy graffiti letters, but today we're going to do bubble letters and we're gonna keep it real simple. And once you learn these tricks, you will be able to do bubble letters with capital letters, lowercase letters, and even cursive letters. I'm going to do it on my dry erase board. You guys are going to practice at home or here in class with your pencil and paper. And always remember, we draw light until we get it right. So we're all going to begin with the word art. It's a simple word, it's three letters. Let's get started. I am going to write the word art just as I would if I was printing it out. But what you wanna make sure to do here is you wanna make sure you leave a good amount of space in between your letters. So I'm going to write art in capital letters. That's the first step. The next thing you want to do is you're going to draw around your letters with a long curvy line. So what I mean by that is I'm going to go around each letter and almost put a cloud around it with a long curvy line. Now in the letter A, I also have this little section that's inside of it. So I'm going to do another curvy line inside there and I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna do the same thing to my R, a curvy line that goes all the way around and connects. And then right inside here, I need another one. And lastly, around my letter T. Once I've done all of the curvy letters around my letters, I can now erase my printed letters inside. That's why it's important you draw light until you get it right. That is one motto we say a lot in the art class. One good thing to remember. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to erase all of the lines inside my bubbles. And now you will see that I have created my bubble letters. Isn't that amazing? But we don't wanna leave it at just this. We wanna add some fun, exciting lines and maybe some shapes to it. So I'm gonna add some highlights to my letters. So I'm gonna choose one side of each letter and I'm almost gonna do like a broken line or like dashes. So over here to my A, I'm just going to make some little lines down around the right side and along the right side of this part of my letter. I'm gonna do the same to the R right along here and right along this side. It almost gives you the illusion of a little bit of a shadow. And I'm gonna do the same thing to my T. Okay, once I've added my highlights, now I wanna add a deeper shadow to another side to make it look a little bit more 3D, to give it some three-dimensional kind of look to it. So I'm gonna go to my left side of my letter A and I'm just going to make a little line that connects from the bottom to the top and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Okay, and once I've done that, I could shade it in, but what I want you to notice is you see how I stay to the left of my letter? So over here is the left of my A, I did it here. And this is the left of this part of my letter A. And then I'm going to color this part in. In your case, you are going to shade it in with your pencil. And this is gonna give you the illusion that it's more of a three-dimensional letter. Still a bubble letter. Now I'm gonna do the same thing inside of my letter A, again, along the same edge. And now I'll do that to my other letters. Now that I've done the shadows to each of the letters, now I'm going to add a border around my word and create a shadow with that also. So I'm basically going to do the same thing I did in step two, which was to draw a curvy line around my letter. But here I'm gonna do a curvy line around my word. So around the entire word, I'm gonna do another curvy line. So I'll start over here and I'm going to follow the shape of my letters 
but I'm gonna go around the whole word this time. So wherever you see a curve, you can even go all the way in like this. Okay, so now that I've created that curvy line around the whole word, now I'm going to go around one more time. And what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to color that part in with my black Expo marker. Now, even if I was coloring, I would do it in black just to make it really stand out and to make it look like a shadow. Okay, now I could leave it at that, but I think I want to add some extra special designs to it. So maybe I'll add almost like a little diamond shape here. You can do hearts. You can do any kind of shapes that you like, and you can repeat them as well. Maybe we got to do another little diamond shape here and another heart here, and maybe make it look like it's sparkling. And now to the inside of my letters, I'm going to add another little cloudy shape just like that so that when I color it, I'll make sure to leave that white so it makes it look like my bubbles are shiny, kind of like a balloon that's shiny on one side. Balloons would actually be a really cute idea to put in the background too. And you can continue adding more in the background if you'd like. You can make patterns, you can make stripes, really the background is whatever you want it to be you can make it look like it's a brick wall which is what i did on my graffiti video you can leave it just like that or you can even add patterns inside so hopefully you had a good time practicing the word art now it's time to practice doing your own word i can't wait to see what you come up with i redrew my word on a white piece of paper so that you can kind of get idea of what it looks like on paper and i chose some colors i like to separate my colors into cool and warm colors and sometimes i have another section of neutral colors and i have another video on my YouTube channel that talks about the color wheel and all the different color families. But the reason I do this is because I am going to choose one color family for the letters and then another color family for the background. And instead of coloring my letters in just one color, I'm gonna kinda go from maybe a light to a medium to a dark. So my value is going to get darker and then maybe along the edge I'll do the same it'll go from a light to a medium to a dark working my way out I'm also going to outline everything with a black sharpie Now, once you have outlined it with your black Sharpie, and it's okay if you don't have a black Sharpie, you can do um, a black crayon, but if you are going to do a black crayon, you definitely want to do it last so your colors don't rub into the crayon. It's one of the reasons I like to use Sharpie because it will not rub, but I'm going to take my eraser and wherever I see a pencil mark, I am going to erase it so that it doesn't show through. I don't have too many. So I'm going to do my letters in warm colors which are these here, and the background in cool colors. But I am also going to go from light to medium to dark, showing value. So I'll begin with yellow at the top, and then 
some of the lighter oranges. And then it goes into a darker orange. And I'm not gonna use pink. And into the reds. And I might only use a few of these. Maybe the yellow, the peach, the orange, and the red. And so that's going to be my letters. And then for the background, I'll go from light to dark. So the lighter green, then the darker green, then this lighter blue, maybe with a darker blue and then a purple. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'll start down here. So I'll start with my lightest green and I'm just going to color. And I'm gonna press pretty hard so the color really shows up. I'm gonna do my light green, and then my darker green. And I'm gonna go into the light green just a little bit, not too much. And then keep working my way until I get to the darker. Blue. And I don't have a lot of space in this section. And these two blues pretty much look the same, so I'll only use one. I'm gonna go now to my purple. And I'm gonna do that going all the way around and I'm gonna do the same for my letters. So with my letters, I'll start with my yellow. Again, I wanna press hard to really make these colors stand out. I'm not going to color inside of my bubble because remember, I want that to look like a shiny reflection. So I'm gonna leave that white. And then I'm gonna go to this peachy orange which is not much darker than the yellow, but that's okay, just a little bit. And now into this orange. That looks pretty. So much prettier than just one color, wouldn't you say? And you know what? I might have to do another darker orange because these letters are a lot taller. So this is like a reddish orange. And then finally my red. Look at that, so I'm gonna continue doing that to all of my other letters. I want to stop here one second to explain what I'm doing. You saw how I was turning my paper. This is going to be really important. So make sure you're listening. I want these colors out here to really look as if they are exploding from my word. So the way to do that is in the direction that I'm coloring. So I'm making sure that whenever I'm coloring, I am coloring away, up and away from my letters. That means when I get to the side, I turn my paper so I can continue. If I was coloring up and down like this here, it wouldn't look like my colors were shooting out from my word, would it? So I make sure to always color in the direction that these colors would be shooting out from my word art. So for example, at the top, I'm gonna continue coloring up and down but when I come over here, I'm going to start turning my colors this way and this way. So it gives you the illusion that these beautiful colors are coming out of my word art. Now inside my word, I just went straight up and down, making sure to not change the direction of my coloring, which is really important when you're coloring with crayons or colored pencils. You always wanna color in the same direction to give it a nice, neater look. So let's continue and finish. Okay. 
And there you have it. It almost looks like tie-dye, doesn't it? So I used the warm colors in my word. I used cool colors around the edge. And then in that little area in between, I did a neutral color. I did a light gray. So I'm just gonna leave this right here so that you guys can take a look at it. And here are the instructions. I will put these side by side in case you need a little reminder. And it is time to get started.